sometimes when you're brushing, you'll come across gold just sitting on the surface. Piece of surface gold, there it is. There we go. Ha, there's a piece right there. Best pad of the day. Woohoo! Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly and this is my friend Martin. Now I wasn't planning on filming a video today. However, I did happen to have my GoPro with me and I did manage to find some nice gold in a crack that I found. So even though this isn't one of my regular quality videos, this is still a video. So I hope you do enjoy it. So last time I was here, I was sniping underwater and I followed this crack along and I found a whole bunch of gold. Now, I am back here to investigate the same crack, but this time I'm following it upwards. I decided to do one pan out of this hole right here, and this is what I found. Two nice pieces of gold. So I think it's safe to continue this crack and see what else we can find. There is a few rock in here that are just packed, which is always a good sign when you're looking for gold, because it means that this area hasn't been disturbed yet. I don't have the best tools for the job today, but a spoon always works. No way! A rock! The deeper it is, the more material that's in it, the more chance you have of finding gold! Or what I like to call candy. Well, that rock has quartz on it. Now that is a big rock to pull out of a tiny crack. I think we have enough material for pan number two. All right. So if there's no gold in this one, it doesn't mean that there's gonna be no more gold there. It just means we didn't capture gold in that dig. I don't know where my classifier went, so that's why I'm not using one. Shake, 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 shake. Getting closer. <gasps> there we go. Ha, there's a piece right there. Woohoo! We're two for two. That piece doesn't look too, too shabby. Now I can't lose it. I must be very careful. Did we find anything else? There's some iron stone. It's a heavy rock, that's a good sign. Oh wow, yeah, there we go, yeah, it's not bad. We have one flake, one poker, and a bunch of little micro poops. Oh, and a piece of rusty nail. I'd say that pan is a success. Time to continue. So this is where we are just working, about two pans worth or so, and now we are moving up, and I just rolled this moss back, so I didn't kill any roots, I didn't break anything, I just rolled it back. And then I got my scratcher tool and kind of just showed a line here, so now I know where I'm working. So now it's just working this section here, and hopefully finding a million dollars worth of gold. So because I'm using a GoPro, you're not going to be able to see really small pieces of gold. And I just found a little piece of surface gold, there it is on my finger. You might be able to see that, but it won't be in focus, but that's cool. I'll just put that in the pan. Look what we just discovered. A big rock. Urgh. I don't know how long that was in there for. Maybe a couple million years. Yeah, this material looks way better. Urgh. So we only moved maybe like half a foot and we already have our third pan ready. Let's see what happens. You always want to mix up the material. Make sure every speck of dirt, sand, and gold is wet. Okay, we're getting down to the gritty nitty. How much candy is in this one? We know for sure there's going to be that one piece I saw on the surface. Unless I, unless I lost it, but I... I'm a professional. I don't think I lost it. Is there any extra gold in here? Oh cool, alright. We have a... a heavy little iron stone. And yeah, we have that speck of gold that we found on the surface. And a bunch of little gold. 
I think it's still worth continuing, so we will continue a bit longer. All right, so this crack right here isn't as deep as I thought it would be up here. So it's a lot less material. So I've accumulated what I can accumulate and I have another pan ready. I think after this pan, I'm gonna get some water and dump it through the crack to hopefully expose more cracks and see if we can break the very bottom of the crack and maybe you'll find some deeper gold and then kind of just go on from there. So far, every pan has had gold in it. <laughs> Will this be the pan with no gold? Now that I mention it, probably. Get rid of the big rocks. Shake it down. All right. <clears throat> Flap Poop City. Here we go. <gasps> there. <laughs> that was... Best pan of the day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's the, it's the same as before except one nicer piece. Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> Woohoo! Picker! Yes. Can we hear it when you drop in the pan? Can we hear it? Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we can hear it. <laughs> nice. I really do want to continue up here, but a few reasons I'm kind of hesitant. There is a lot of vegetation up here that I do not want to destroy. And like I said, I have this whole claim to myself to go and explore. And I can come back here anytime and go back to this spot. So I'll do one more deep cleanup right here. We'll see what we get. I'll show you the gold and then that'll be it for this video. Now I'm really gonna press hard against this bedrock and see if we can pull out some more hidden gold. <laughs> So I just did a bunch of handfuls out of the pocket there into the pan and now I'm going to use this handy dandy brush, brush everything down to the bottom, put that in the pan and then run water, run the brush through and then put that final little bit in the pan, then pan it out. Sometimes when you're brushing, you'll come across gold just sitting on the surface. It's kind of what I want to happen right now. I stole Martin's pan to do this. Beautiful. Now I really can get all the shiny, shiny gold out of them cracks. The gold will really shine back at you once it's wet. I don't think it really did much, but that's usually where good candy will be. Yeah. I actually have to use the, the bottom side of the spoon just to get into this little hole here. All right. Pan it out. Moment of tooth. I'm gonna be extra careful with this pan. Some of these rocks I don't even remember finding. All right, the gritty nitty. Is there a nugget bigger than the last one we found? Oh, I see some micro poops in there. Ooh, lots of micro poops. Micro poops, baby. All right. We point the camera down. See what we have. Oh, you got a nice little flake right there. Not as big as the last one, but it's still a freak. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. Right there, there, there. Whole bunch right there. One small right there, and a few right there, and that bigger one right there. Let me clean this up. A bit better. Yeah, there we go. Not tea bag. So no more huge nuggets, but uh, that will still pass. So we know for sure there's gonna be more gold up there. But like I said, I'm gonna hold off from, from this spot for now. I do wanna do some more exploring, so I will be back. So before I show you guys the gold, I just want to say if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or even hit that subscribe button. It does go a long way. So now let's dump out the gold and show you what we found. And there we have it. 
I'm gonna use my cell phone here to show a bit better quality of the gold. This is typically what you will find on this creek, but you know what? This is actually better than I've normally done in this amount of time. It's only been about maybe three hours. So I'm not going home after this, and all this gold is going straight to my guest, Martin. So if you wanna see the way in, I, I guess, I guess we can't do that today. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, black screen with logo. No way. A rock. <laughs>